Hello, everybody. We've got another question about badass women for Badass Women's Week. So thanks, Eric Shahab. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Emily. Thank you guys for joining. Um, the question today is, uh, starting off with a little bit of an unfortunate statistic, in uh, STEM jobs, kind of sort of science and engineering type careers, only women only make up 20% of all people holding those positions. Uh, so the question for you is, do you know who Ada Lovelace is and why that statistic is relevant to her? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Shahab. Sure. Was, was she my seventh grade science teacher? If she was, you had one heck of a seventh grade science teacher who was also like 200 years old, which is a feat in and of itself. I mean, that would already make her incredible. Her name is Linda Lovelace. I was going to say, does she have a sister named Linda? As far as I know, no relation to Linda Lovelace. Of uh, you know, if you're a kid watching this video, don't go look up who she is. Do not look up. If you're an adult, you probably already know. <laughs> Didn't she have something to do with uh, making the first penicillin sandwich or something along those lines? <laughs> oh God! She did yeah. not make whatever a penicillin sandwich. Is. <laughs> Well, there'll be a there'll be old bread and a sandwich, you know. Be, <laughs> so. Isn't right. that what made the, all the witches at Salem the like ergot fungus yeah. the penicillin sandwich? Go crazy! <laughs> hey, now you're getting me hungry, kind of. All right. Did she just? Is she? Did she just? I could be wrong. Did she discover Minnesota? She did not. No, we already knew about Minnesota before she came along. I don't know if it was already as nice as it was. Maybe she had a little bit of an impact on that. Mm. Is radiation involved in this woman? No, that's that's uh, what? Marie Curie. That a fun yeah, name. but no relation though, huh? No, no. All right. Do they have anything to do with medicine at all? Nothing to do with medicine, no. It's it's more on the technology side of STEM. Was oh. she the first computer programmer? She was the first computer programmer. That's what I meant by the sandwich part. There you <laughs> got so close. You said it was 200 no. years ago. There weren't even computers 200 years ago. Computer, he loves sandwiches. I know. It's, it's, it's a um, that's actually, Shahab, that's one of the reasons I picked this as a question is because I didn't even realize how old computers were. So no. know, has anybody ever heard of the name of the guy Charles Babbage? Uh, yeah. The store. There was a computer store, oh, Babbage's God. in the mall. It, I remember it. Yep. So Babbage's. Charles Babbage is the guy who essentially invented the computer, although at the time it seems like he was kind of figuring out exactly what it was. So at first he invented something called the difference machine. Um, and while he was kind of like showing this all off or showing this around, um, Ada Lovelace was actually Lord Byron's daughter. Um, and somebody else who no was, was super famous too. And I didn't write it down. I'm really annoyed. I didn't write it down because she was another famous person. Um, but basically Lord Byron, super, super famous, hung out with all the highfalutin British, uh, fancy pants people. One of those people was Charles Babbage. So he shows up and he's talking about the difference engine and Ada Lovelace has this incredible mind for numbers. So she gets really interested in it and she starts kind of being like Charles Babbage's pen pal about this. So he keeps working on it. And a few years later, he comes out with something called the analytical engine um, and this is one step closer this is kind of considered to be the first computer um, and so what happened is he's going around Europe showing off this fancy thing that he made and somebody writes this whole French uh, research paper basically explaining what it is it's the first like research paper about it but it's in French so it's not that helpful for all the people in England so Ada gets her hands on it and she goes, oh, I can translate this. So not only is she a brilliant mathematician, she also apparently is fluent enough to translate a technical paper in French into a technical paper in English. She puts in her notes, which makes the paper three times as long, and just interspersed in the notes are the first ever written computer program. So Ada Lovelace definitely fits the bill of a badass woman. That's amazing. So when I was growing up, we had a chapter in my... Um, like textbook that talked about um, computers being invented. And I stood up and I started bowing in the middle of class. And my teacher said, Emily, what are you doing? And I was like, my dad invented computers. <laughs> he didn't, but oh, really? he's a scientist and I thought he did. And so I took a grand bow <laughs> the whole class and said, you're welcome. 
my dad invented computers. Did the <laughs> classroom then immediately shout, that was Charles Babbage. Exactly. If I had only known. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's the show for today. Thank you so much for joining. And thanks to everybody from the Improv Playhouse for joining. Uh, you guys have been super helpful this whole time. Love putting out videos with all of you. So if you are interested in learning more about the Improv Playhouse, you can go to improvplayhouse.com. There are shows on the weekends, Saturdays, uh, 7.30 and 9 o'clock. You can see everybody else in these videos. If you go back in time a couple of years, you can also see me in some of those shows. Um, but presently, it would be really tough to do so. Uh, I believe there's possibly some more shows coming, so go out, patronize. You'll see more shows if you prove that there is an audience to do the shows for. Uh, and if you want to find us, you can find our information right here. Um, check us out online. Hit us up. Let us know. If you have any... Uh, badass women that you would really like us to talk about, feel free to comment below. We love to hear your suggestions or you can just share facts if you want to. And of course, if there's another topic that you wanna see us do, please uh, let us know in the comments and we are more than happy to tackle that next week. So thanks and we'll see you next week. <laughs>